So she's coming out later today, and she is going to be announcing that um, she's filing a wrongful death lawsuit on behalf against Baldwin on behalf of other members of Helena Hutchins' family. So Helena Hutchins' widow, widower, Matthew, already sued Baldwin for wrongful death, and they settled it. And now she's coming forward, I guess, on behalf of other family members, including Helena's uh, possible, like her parents and a sister is what we're being told. We'll know more later, trying to revive this, this claim. Now, I've never brought a wrongful death lawsuit. A quick Google search tells me the general rule is you get one. <laughs> you only get the one. You can't have like, and now the cousin and the seventh cousin twice removed and the in-laws, like, of course, that's, they're not going to let Alec Baldwin get sued by every single family member of Helena Hutchins. I don't know, Steve, you're actively practicing law now. What do you make of it? Well, I do I do criminal law. My board certification is in Florida criminal law. But uh, I did practice civil for about six years way back when. And this is very state-specific stuff. And the question really is, is how far is the circle around the, the, uh, the decedent? You know, it's a civil suit. It's not criminal. So they're looking for money. And how many people can claim damages um, within the circle of the person that is killed? So, you know, you might have a spouse and then children. And then like, well, is it sisters? Is it parents? Second cousins once removed. So uh, that's going to be very dependent on the venue um, that the suit is brought. I feel like I maybe, I don't know, because they didn't file this when Matthew Hutchins was filing his. So they're a little late to the lawsuit party, Vinny, if they had filed it at the same time that Matthew Hutchins filed his against Baldwin, we probably would have had a court consolidate them and made them all come to a resolution together. But it is an interesting question. What happens when the spouse files one, settles it, and the rest of the family is there saying, what do you mean? We lost someone too. And it's as a result of this guy. And we didn't waive any claims. And Matthew Hutchins couldn't have waived claims on behalf of the parents. Um, uh, without their permission. So it does kind of raise an interesting issue. It, it does. But, you know, when we think of wrongful death, I mean, the, the purpose of wrongful death actions is to take care of the people who were depending upon the person who was wrongfully killed. And in this case, obviously, it would be the husband, it would be her child. I mean, that is a, a is, is, is very straightforward, very um, obvious. Now, the parents, um, what level of support did she provide to her parents? Was she providing them financial support? Was there the emotional support? Did she give them gifts? Things like that. I mean, the amount would be much less if there is liability, but I think they're going to run into some troubles here. Then when you get to a sibling, uh, what was the nature of this relationship between the siblings? Did she take care of her sister? Uh, was this was her sister dependent upon her? Um, I, I think you've got to create that actual like monetary, because a lawsuit, a civil lawsuit ultimately is about money, um, the actual monetary dependency between the parents and the sister and Helena. And I don't know what that relationship was like. Obviously, they're, they're missing something emotionally and things like that. But when it comes to wrongful death, um, in many states and California, they lean more heavily onto like the actual damages, right? What did this cost the family? Um, what was the actual monetary loss? Because you got to put a dollar figure on it. Um, mm. So that's really, um, I think, what the case is about. And that's already been taken care of in the civil courts. This is going to be a tough one. But I will say this, Megan, I, I have to disclose this. Um, Gloria Allred at one time was my anchor in law because oh. I co hosted a show with her daughter, Lisa. So <laughs> that would make Gloria Allred my anchor in law. So I always. <laughs> Uh, believe in her and stand up for her. She was a great anchor in law. Oh, <laughs> that's, I mean, I I love talking to Gloria. Don't get me wrong. I've done a million interviews of her over the years and she's always interesting. And she really has represented a lot of real victims. Uh, in, but oh, yeah, the list on the other side is long too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, let, let's move on. This I would say this. Where the pockets may be deeper than the, than the, than the level of actual damage for these particular litigants, if you know what I mean, because, right? Well, so honestly, because it's going to be insurance. It's probably less than how deep uh, his pockets are. It's going to be handled by insurance, the insurance company that was backing up Alec Baldwin on the set of this movie. So it shouldn't be his money at all, really, unless he's already tapped out in the settlement with Matthew Hutchins. That's the question. Uh, That's all the right? question. That's the question. Remember how fun cereal used to be when you were a kid? 
and how boring and bland adult cereal is, like fiber. There's nothing but fiber. Well, Magic Spoon has replicated your favorite childhood cereals to taste good, but each serving contains zero grams of sugar, zero, I say, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and just four to five net grams of carbs per serving. It's a keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free way to relive those childhood moments, watching your favorite cartoons, and stuffing your face with something you love. Plus, it's only 140 calories per serving. It's like there's magic in every spoonful, hence the name. With over eight unique flavors, you will not get bored of feeling good with Magic Spoon. The super popular, previously limited edition birthday cake flavor is back to stay. We're celebrating our birthdays early with his fan favorite. Head to magicspoon.com slash MK to grab a custom bundle of cereal and see for yourself. Try out the magic. Be sure to use our promo code MK at checkout to save $5 off your order. If you love those delicious, sugary cereals you used to eat when you were a kid, but you staved them off, you gave them up because you thought you couldn't recapture it uh, at something that was a little bit healthier for you, check out Magic Spoon. They're so confident in their product, they back it with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like their product for whatever reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash MK. Use that code MK to save five bucks on your order. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.